Hi. I'm going insane. You know, when this quarantine first started, I was okay with it. I was I was okay with it because most of the time I'd be home most of the time before this quarantine, I'd be home doing nothing. Well, doing online classes and working on videos, that's what I'd be doing normally. But um now I, I, I want it I want out. I just I want out. I want out of this quarantine life. And that sounds like that sounds like I'm suicidal. I'm not. I don't want out of life forever. I just want this quarantine to be over. And the world, it will the country right now feels like it's on fire with the protesters and riots and let me get this out of the way. My stance on it is that what happened is terrible and disgusting. I support the protesters. I support the rioters to a point. I think the burning of small businesses is terrible and even burning businesses is bad in my opinion. But I respect the good protesters and I respect the good rioters. I guess you want to call them because what happened was terrible. Anyway, now that I got that out of the way because I feel like I feel like for you that watch me, we're all going through it right now. We're all not experiencing the same things, but we're all going through it. We know what's happening. Um, but yeah, so to the people that watch me, I feel like you deserve to know my stance on it. So anyway, throughout this quarantine life of mine, I've been working on videos. I just fucking finished editing a almost 40 minute video about a fucking blue hedgehog which was really tiring and that's why I'm gonna be taking my sweet ass time for part two of the retrospective um, but while I've been working on videos and finishing class which I have I've also been playing a lot of games uh, what games have I been playing well I've been playing Sonic Adventure 2 Sonic Heroes for part two of the retrospective. I've been playing the original Red Dead Redemption. I've also been playing Red Dead Redemption 2. I 100% completed Red Dead Redemption 2 for the second time a couple weeks ago. And I've also been playing the shit out of my Switch games. I've been playing Super Mario Odyssey. I've been going through that again. I'm also working on 100% completing that for third time I think this is now. Um, I haven't been playing Pokemon Sword and Shield, because there's no reason for me to play it again until the expansion passes come out. I've been playing, I've been playing the shit out of Animal Crossing, uh, New Horizons. Hmm. I love Animal Crossing, I love New Horizons. I've been playing Super Mario Maker 2, experience, uh, experimenting with the world builder. I really like it so far, maybe I'll make a video on the worlds I've made. I haven't finished the worlds yet, but I'm working on worlds in Super Mario Maker 2. And... Finally, I've been playing a lot of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which is the topic for today's video. But it's about Sonic! <laughs> so, it's probably not a surprise, but my main, the fighter I usually play f as most of the time in Smash Bros. is Sonic. And I've been thinking recently, I've, I've mentioned it many times before in videos about Sonic characters that I think could work in uh, Smash Bros. Now, I've mentioned Shadow and Eggman before. Um, yeah, so I'm going to talk about them again. And I'm also going to talk about a few more characters that I think uh, could easily be put into Smash Bros. If they're Echo Fighters or just new fighters entirely, let's talk about it. I don't have a single note written down for this. I've just been thinking about it a lot, so I don't really need I don't really need to jot down notes because I know what to talk about. Okay, so first off, let's get this out of the way. Shadow. I've talked about him before in my uh, character wish list for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Um, now, yeah, he'd be a good Echo Fighter for Sonic, but maybe. I mean, I think if they if they announce Shadow, which I, I, I'm really I'm really feeling they're either going to announce Shadow or Eggman for this new fighter, fighter pass. I just I feel like one of those two are going to be announced. I just I have a big feeling. But if or when they announce Shadow, I think most likely he's going to be an Echo Fighter. But maybe with his chaos abilities 
and his hover abilities. He can be a completely just his own character. He doesn't have to be an Echo Fighter for Sonic. He can use his Chaos Control, Super Shadow, or Chaos Blast from Shadow the Hedgehog could be uh, his final smash. Um, so yeah, Shadow... Just because Shadow is like Sonic doesn't mean he's identical to Sonic, so... While I think if they announce him, he'll be a F Echo Fighter, I 100% believe that, he could easily be his own fighter. He doesn't have to be linked to Sonic or being an Echo Fighter. Okay, and the second uh, character that they could put into Smash, which I think it's, it's either Shadow or him, Dr. Eggman. Now, uh, I saw this really cool fan art of an out, like a redesign for Eggman and Smash Bros, and I think it is freaking awesome. Look at that. It's nice. But yeah, Eggman could work on... Uh, Eggman can... Eggman easily can be a Smash Bros fighter. He can use his egg the hover mobile. Um, he can hit people with the big ball he uses in Sonic 1. Uh, he can do other things. Um, they can they can treat it like Bowser Jr. in Super Smash Bros. where he's riding in his cart and his up B is shooting out of his cart. And if you hit Eggman when he's not in his mobile, maybe it's like easier to knock him out. My games just fell. So yeah, Eggman could work and maybe like his final smash could be the Death Egg. Uh, just maybe it shoots a beam to the stage, just like uh, King K rules. Uh, Final Smash. There you go. You got Eggman. Now another Sonic character that could completely be his own thing. Well, there's two characters I want to talk about: Tails and Knuckles. Now Knuckles, just like Shadow, is an assist trophy. Knuckles punches shit. There you go. <laughs> he punches shit. I don't know what his final smash would be because Knuckles used to have a super form where he turned pink in the classic games, but Sega just shoo shoo, shoo shoo to that form. Never happens. Like in Sonic Heroes, when I guess this is a spoiler for my retrospective part two, but when Sonic, when Team Sonic goes super, Knuckles doesn't turn pink, he just gets a yellow ball around him. So, I don't think his final smash would be a super form. I don't know. I really don't know what it could be. Maybe it can be uh, one of his upgrades from uh, Sonic Adventure when he punches three times and he whew, and he <laughs> lunges forward. I don't know. I, maybe it can be similar to Donkey Kong's final smash where he just punches the shit out of people into oblivion. Um, but yeah, Knuckles could also dig underground. Um, maybe that could be his perfect block. He digs underground when you land a perfect block. Uppercut. Knuckles uppercuts. Um, he can glide. That was a voice crack. He can glide. Fun. Fun time. Fun time with Knuckles. Yeah, but Knuckles, Knuckles can really work in uh, Smash Bros. He would not. I wouldn't make him an Echo Fighter to Sonic, just because I don't think that makes sense. Because Knuckles, Knuckles is completely different from Sonic. Well, not completely different, but he's different enough. Now, Tails. He uses his tails. He can punch like Sonic, but he can also do like the tail whip that he does in Sonic Adventure. Uh, he could throw like those ring bombs that he throws in Sonic 06. He could fly. That can be his up B. Well. Would he have an up B? I, I feel like it would... Well, he would have to have an up B. But I feel like his recovery would be similar to Kirby, where you just fly up. Um, but yeah, Tails would be a good character to put into Smash. Now, an Echo Fighter for Sonic could also be Amy, which I'm surprised, because people... A lot of people actually want Amy in Smash Bros, and I, I didn't know that. I honestly didn't know that before I started recording this video, but yeah, I've seen a lot of fan art for Amy, uh, for Amy to be put into Smash, which, yeah, whatever. I'm for it. She could be an Echo Fighter to Sonic. She can use her hammer. I, 
I don't really know what her final smash could be. I, I don't know. I'm at a loss there. But yeah, Amy could be mm, a great Echo Fighter. But I had, a, I had a little brain blast before I started recording this video. Um... I think I have a bet. I think I have a better Echo Fighter for Sonic than it's a better Echo Fighter than Shadow or Amy, and it really makes sense. Metal Sonic. Now, Metal Sonic is just a robot Sonic. He moves and fights the same as Sonic, so it'd be a good Echo character. And here's my pitch to put Metal Sonic into the game, which, again, I don't think they're gonna do Metal Sonic, I think it's either gonna be Shadow or Eggman, but if they announce Metal Sonic, hey, I got an idea for an announcement trailer for that. It starts off, you first in the trailer, you announce Eggman, maybe Mario and Sonic are fighting Bowser and then Eggman joins in to help Bowser or something. Um, I've had my Switch in, the, in my hand for the entirety of this video, I don't know why, but, yeah, so Sonic and Mario are fighting Eggman, I mean Bowser, Bowser's losing and then Eggman jumps in, it's like Eggman's cracking fucking eggs in Smash Bros. <laughs> I don't know. And then Mario and Sonic maybe, fuck it, Mega Man joins in in the trailer and they, they beat uh, Bowser and Eggman. But then... Metal Sonic shows up, so it'd be two characters announced in one trailer, but they've done that before with like Simon and Richter So they've done that before. I think that'd be a pretty cool cool trailer announce Eggman first and then Out of nowhere release announce an Echo Fighter Metal Sonic. I think it worked really well um, And another character that could be separate SPO, I guess I don't think I don't think in a million years SPO is ever going to be announced for Smash Bros, but I wouldn't be I wouldn't be against it. He'd be my least wanted pick for a Sonic character to be put in Smash Bros, but hey, I'd still be excited if he was announced, but I don't see SPO being put into Smash Bros. I don't. It's like it's like putting Cream the Rabbit or Vector or Charmy or any other side character of the Sonic franchise. I don't I don't see them being put into the game. Oh, I also for, I just realized this. Maybe instead of Amy Blaze because Sonic Rush sold well and it was exclusive for the DS. Nintendo notices that shit when games sell well on their consoles, so maybe Blaze can be introduced for Smash Bros. Who knows? But yeah, everybody, um, those are the Sonic characters that I think could be put into Smash and who I think is most likely to be announced, Shadow and Eggman. But let me know what characters you would like to see in Sonic, I mean Smash Bros, what Sonic characters you want to be put into Smash Bros. Maybe I should have wrote down friggin' notes for this video, but whatever. There's a lot of characters in the Sonic franchise, so literally anything. Anything can be put into Smash Bros. at any given time. But let me know what you think, what characters do you want in it, and I will see you next week. Stay safe, stay healthy, and goddamn giblets. <laughs> see you next week, everybody. Mm -hmm.